Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, as you can see, my packages have arrived. It was about a two to three week wait, but this is the RCA, uh, RCI uh, skid plate kit for the GX470. Because we're not even running any skids back here. So I'm gonna, you know, gotta add some weight, like a hundred pounds or something. This is their full steel um, kit. This is no uh, aluminum jank, freaking lightweight bullshit. This is all big boy also, they also got this uh, catalytic uh, there you go catalytic guard you know you don't want to get your shit stolen you feel me stock exhaust gang but let's go uh, unbox these real quick and see make sure we got everything Cat protection to fuck dogs. Just kidding. All right, guys. It's actually been over a week since that last video cut. Um, I was actually missing this part. It's the cross member skid that RCI uh, haven't sent because they were still like painting it, I believe, or powder coating. So, yeah. Now let's uh, install everything. Now, yeah, everything's over here. Let's see, I gotta go install everything. Alright, if you still got the factory um, skid down here, then you have to take that off. You also got to take off the engine skid. It's just four bolts, I think. Here and right there and all around. But first, I got to relocate my actual rock lights because the actual skid plate is going to be over here in this area. And it's probably going to be in the way. So let me think about that. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, that shit is so tight. So tight. Oh, yeah. Get the other side. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, out. Yo, she's out and out of the way. You gotta get the dust out, you know what I mean? Oh, that freaking dust for me to install something. Oh. Alright, so we're gonna start with this one first, the actual engine skid plate. Um, here is the hardware that comes with it. Make sure you have all of these before you start. But yeah, let's get it. Woo! She's heavy, so if you don't have somebody to help you, you really need a jack. Lines up first. Go more this way. Get you, grandma. You left my hand up. For the first two holes right here, you're gonna be using the shorties. You don't want to use the long ones yet. That's gonna be for the back. Then the middle, right here. You're also gonna use the shorties. <clears throat> you can tell. It's right here, there's a shank. You can tell it's longer, of course, unless you're, you know, blind. Um, <clears throat> gonna save these for the back. That, bam. So we're gonna do these first. I am gonna add a little bit of anti-seize on threads because, you know, you'll be doing some water crossings and all that. So um, <clears throat> you wanna make sure these things, you know, you'll be able to take it out when you do like oil changes or other shit like that where you gotta do maintenance in the engine area, transmission area 
or whatnot. So good thing RCI use flange bolts for uh, hardware because now you can just put it on an extension like that because this one is gonna be hard to reach. <laughs> can have to just put it in the hole, daddy. Oh yeah, yeah, but the kurasai. <laughs> you thread it in. All right, I got the bolt in for the rear side. Um, you see how there's only one spacer there? It's because we're gonna be sliding the transmission skid next. Um, if you guys didn't buy the transmission kit, uh, skid, you should be fine. Just gotta tighten it and you should be good to go with the install. But we still got a transmission skid and a transfer case skid and a cross member skid. So we gotta, you know, make sure everything is still loose, you know, what is everything's still loose. Nothing is tight, but it is holding it securely. So should be fine. All right, next up is the transmission skid plate. Uh, here's the hardware for it. Right there, just simple. And we're gonna also install the, the cat protector kit. Uh, just to protect your cats from some lousy ass motherfucker fucking stealing your shit. But yeah, it's gonna go get installed to the side of these uh, this plate. And should be good. All right, if you guys got the catalytic guard kit, uh, this is the back side where the two bolts are at. And the slot is in the front so this would be facing back like so i'm just gonna put the hardware to tighten it and it should be good now you grab yourself a 12 millimeter uh, socket you're gonna remove all four of these bolts that uh, on this brace because you're gonna replace it with the rci hardware that, that they provided and yeah, let's get to it. Once you get that removed, um, I'm gonna show you the order, of, um, the order of all the skids. So this is the engine skid right now. This is the frame. So you're gonna have your nylon. Then the transmission skid is gonna be in between right there. It's gonna get sandwiched by the engine skid plate. So yeah. All right, you kind of have to teeter the actual transmission skid on the jack, so you could um, sandwich it in between the skid plate and the frame. And you, see, as you can see, I don't know the nylon's right there up top, right there. So yeah, it's gonna get sandwiched and actually get to the other side. Get the nylon spacer up and slide her in. Then like that. Now just flush with the actual um, shank of this bolt. Now we just gotta bolt up the rear side and should be good with the transmission skid. Alright, the bolt is already anti seize as well. Um, same thing, the washer and the flange bolt. A few hours later. There's a night time. I went out with the boys, you know, drank a little bit, you know, go to the bar, but we're back at it. So now we can do the actual um, transfer case uh, skid, um, the actual bar that goes across, uh, I think they call it the cross member. Then we could do the actual transfer case skid. She. And yeah, I am going to take this out for now, just so I can slide the, um, the transfer case kid afterwards then we'll be jacking the actual arms up so this will um this gap will close and i'll have space to put that spacer in on the right side of the car the passenger side you gotta loosen up um the bottom all the way for the exhaust hanger and just loosen the top but don't take it out just because you're gonna be sandwiching this uh, cross member between that plate The top. So I'm trying to line this up. If you're a monkey like me, you just tighten the jack and you put your tape down like this. And this should go 
go up and line up hopefully yeah well maybe just line it up over there figure why she got stuck there's a zip tie right here for my actual rock lights so i'll just either move this over yeah i'm just gonna move it around i want to cut it so let me lower this real quick so that bolt is in on the passenger side but i'm having a hard time putting the driver side in because it's rubbing right here the actual skin for the fuel tank so we're gonna do some massaging hopefully i can just push it in just a little bit so i can line this hole up all right the cross member is in that was so annoying to line up but she's in there there you go the bolt's right there it's all tightened the bracket and the bolt here is tightened as well now we gotta put the uh, actual transfer case kit right here all right the actual thing is in i haven't tightened it yet because i want to make sure everything uh, lines up here first so you guys gotta jack up this uh oe uh, brace so just so it's pushed up against the frame like that then you guys should be able to or gals or they them whatever just slip it in like that where's my uh, other bolt and oh shit oh, yeah. all right my bad push it in a little too deep daddy Just rolling away, bro. What's wrong with you? Crazy ass. Oh my god, now the washer fell, bro. Like, what the fuck? This shit sucks when you're drunk. Yeah. So, it should look like that. Kablam, kablam, kablamo. So, yeah. Now you can just tighten that down. Club ammo. Then you tighten that boy. You tighten that boy. The only reason I'm not using a drill right now is uh, it's night time. I want to wake up the neighbors and they get mad and they all go carrying on my ass. Now that's tightened up. Now we gotta tighten these uh, carriage bolts. Um, the actual, all the other skids are all down the line. They're all like 30 foot pounds, I believe. So yeah, let's just do that. And everything else is tightened up. There she is. I got to get the. Uh, put the rock lights right there bam bam yeah should be good all right so next day we're going to the beach but look check this out Woo -wee. Oh, yeah. we're out here at pyramid lake and yeah here's alexis you see the rci skid plates right there yes, sir that shit clean boy you Keep the setup. I'm cooking some lumpia right now too. Yo, same way. Dip it in there. Then eat that shit. Ow.